islands, they get to spend Bible bucks that they earn, and they come in here, and they're able to pick things they want to purchase and learn how to handle money uh, and be able to learn to save up for what you want. Uh, and then they'll work their way from there, and they come into what we call our gathering room. This is where every class begins, is in the gathering room. And then they'll come in here, and they'll learn about the books of the Bible and talk to memory masters who will help them learn their memory verses and other things. And then from here, they'll split up into their different age groups and go to, say, the kitchen and make communion bread, or they'll go into the museum, which will be our next room, where they have kind of different art artifacts about Bible times so that they actually know that these were real people who lived just like me and you. They get put in three groups when they leave here, and each group has a leader, and each leader takes a flag. You're either going to the Colosseum, you'll go to the kitchen, the museum, the game room, or the craft room. So that's how they keep up with where each kid gets to go to. This is the museum where they can come in and kind of look at the different maps and interact with them, but also see some of the different artifacts, different things that people have donated that either authentically from the area or have been made in some sort of special fashion, but they can get to know like a crown of thorns representing Jesus or a ram's horn when they talk about ram's horns in the Old Testament and uh, different coins from that time period. They get to learn timelines of all the historical things that come through scripture and they, they make these themselves so all of these are still being developed as they go and they're getting to put it together themselves. How long did it take to decorate <laughs> this place? <laughs> Not as long as you'd think, but it did take a while. We should have got started two months quicker than we did, but we did all of this in about what, a month and a half. And naturally, if we were going to call it the bridge, uh, we actually have a bridge that connects the two hallways there. Oh, <laughs> cool. <laughs> This is their craft room. Uh, so they've got their sink things all they clean up. They can do different paintings. They, all of these tiles are handmade tiles that are on the wall and hand painted tiles. Uh, you can see they've got some of the things that the kids have painted hanging up on the wall. And uh, this class has only been used one or two times so far, but it's going to get a lot more use out of it. But this is their craft room where they learn to do different things that are hands on. So cool. In the kitchen. <laughs> and there, there's still some things that, you know, a few final touches here and there that, we'll, that we're still working on, but everything's functional at this point. They'll come in here and they might make something and learn something uh, along the way that pertains to the lesson like locusts and wild honey or communion kitchen. bread or kitchen type uh, elements. So. And then we'll set the best for last. Only because you helped make it. This is the best room and everybody knows it. <laughs> <laughs> so we called it the bridge because one of the iconic symbols of Decatur this is, is the, bridge. the bridge. And this is the bridge that we made. But it's the bridge connecting kids to Christ is the idea behind it. So wanting them to realize that Jesus was a real person. He walked this earth. And of course we believe him to be our Lord and Savior. Who did all the painting? This, all the murals and the paintings were done by members here who have great artistic abilities. We built ah. this, and this door used to be down there. We moved the entire door to center up in the room. And the painting's not quite finished, but it's getting close. But uh, this is the Colosseum room, which uh. is kind of like a theater. But we built all of the seating, we put the concrete walls in. Uh, because if you're in the Coliseum, you get to lean out over. They get to watch different movies in here, get to do different games and stuff in here. Uh, just different unique things that they get to do. By far the best room. No, like, gladiator stuff, right? No one's, no blood in here. No blood. They don't <laughs> like <laughs> And ironically yeah. enough, this last room is called the game room. There's not much to it besides the painting on the walls because various activities, like you can tell they did a cotton ball relay of some sort um, the last time that they played here. They were herding sheep. Yeah, herding, there you go, herding sheep. <laughs> so much um, room for activities. This is actually one of my favorite rooms because I walk <laughs> <Your> step brothers. <laughs> we just become best friends. <laughs> 
I didn't know this place was gonna be so cool. You guys have set a tour, and this is awesome. <laughs> They've even got mats in here that they can roll a mat out that takes up the entire floor space and then it turns the floor into a game board. And you are the pieces, so you move around the game board. Yeah. It's neat. And I love the way they use driftwood to be their holder for their markers. That's just awesome. This is one of my favorite rooms because I walk in here, I just feel like I'm floating on the ocean. Mm -hmm.